welcome back to our channel. My name is Shay. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark eBay Macari. I'm Tyler, part-time seller on eBay Macari Poshmark. And today's video is a thrift with us video. Uh, we actually filmed it a week or two ago, so yeah. you guys may have seen some highlights from this on my Instagram. Um, but if you haven't, I am very excited to share this with you. And we may or may not have found the thing that the, made Tyler look the most handsome. So you'll have to say yeah, he the, does model. So the, the the best item may or may not have been something that I I may have to keep. Yeah, he he modeled it. So make sure make sure you stay for that because no. it is it is wonderful. Um, but that is everything. So let us get right into the thrift bus. So this is me fumbling around at the game section at the local store. Quick pan of all the, the games. It's a very small section. It's the smallest game section I think we have near us. I think probably, yeah. Uh, not a whole lot of pickings. I checked this one because PS2 is the right, or getting to the right kind of vintage. Uh, always check the cases because somebody stole it. <laughs> that seems to happen quite often. Uh, always check the CD section because you will find PC games there from time to time. Uh, off to DVDs and looking at a whole lot of nothing. Uh, Magic School Bus Sealed. Who doesn't like the nostalgia there? Yeah, but sadly it wasn't worth the math. No, it was not. I did I did look it up. I did put it aside because I wanted to take a moment when I wasn't filming <laughs> uh, to find out, but not worth very much at all. There's a lot of VHS, which no one has a VHS player anymore. I spy Gilmore Girls there on the bottom, you know, kind of for me. Uh, now, I'm going through meticulously. The reality of thrifting, the yep. slow, methodical, looking through every single individual item. Yep. So, for those of you who saw it in the last frame... Uh, there was Midsummer Murders, which is Acorn. Always check Acorn. Uh, that one is sadly not worth anything. Uh, so this is also Acorn. It's Father John. And again, not worth again, anything. Not so worth are you anything. sure? Always check Acorn. <laughs> Always check. Yeah, it's at least worth checking. Off the <laughs> pants. Uh, just going through... So this is jeans, actually. Yeah, he always is, calls it pants. Yeah, this, this is, is jeans. jeans. They yeah. are separate sections in the store. And somehow there's a Zara pleather jacket. This was the thrift trip of items being in the wrong place. Items being in the wrong place and a lot of things just being way too high. Yeah. So I considered this. Uh, I even put it in the cart for a bit. It was um, 15 bucks, though. Yeah, it's, it's way too high for Zara. But why were you considering a Zara pleather jacket? Because Zara does well for us. I, some of it of does, yeah. I mean, and it was my vibe, so. Yes. And I dropped some jeans. I love how you put it back, but you don't fix the hanger. <laughs> so, nine out of ten for effort. You mean give me a nine? Wow, that's a lot of AG. Most of them for about ten bucks. And we're really picky with AG. There's only very specific styles we'll grab, so yep. it's hard to find. Oh, there's something. I'm definitely paying attention to this, checking the style. And you did a great job showing us. So what is yeah. it? <laughs> Hold on. It'll come up in a second. Uh, uh. That's Madewell. I see the Madewell. What's the uh, style? I think that's we're... That's the Road Tripper. Okay. I believe. Uh, it was a decent price. It was like five, six bucks. So. so that's not a style we normally grab, but we checked it up on Poshmark and it seems to do decent. So hopefully it'll be okay for us. So these are sevens from what you can see of them. As he throws them around. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I was looking at them because they were a decent price. They aren't JoJo's. Uh, and I did decide that the the button had been replaced. So I decided no. I don't pick up sevens that much unless they're JoJo's anyway. Yeah. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, these, these are jeans. Page. These je I want to know. Would you pick those up? Those are page jeans with crushed velvet on the top. Yeah, let us know in the comments. They he they've been haunting us. Every time we go to this We've, thrift, they're still there, so I can go back for them. But I don't want them. So let us know in the comments. More looking through jeans, not a whole lot. Uh, I did find uh, Miss Me and Judy Blue, which I'll mention. Uh, these are Zara, cool acid wash, but they were like twelve bucks. 
Um, now I'm in pants, actual pants. Yeah, I see he's doing a lot of jump cuts. It's probably because his camera work was nauseating. Sh- so. <laughs> shoddy at best is the way to describe that. Uh, this is Christian Dior. Which was actually found in the pants section. This is not faked. It was literally found in the pants section. I don't know. I uh, do not nice, know. nice uh, Christian Dior uh, trench coat style. Oh, but it's not going in the cart, friends. No, no. Nope. Oh, uh, it we happens, have a model in the It house. happens to be my size. It was a, it was a bit snug. That was not snug. A little, little snug. But doesn't he look handsome? Like, would you guys have recommended he purchase this? I posted on Instagram and everyone was saying to purchase it. I mean, it was forty dollars, and I would have only bought it to resell. Into shoes, and shoes is going to be a bit of a long slog because we struck out hard. <laughs> Yeah, so shoes in this store is actually usually pretty good for us. We normally yeah. find Teaks or Rothy's or Tory Burch or, I don't know, a ton of like great brands. Some combination of all of those brands. Actually, this is where we found Bed Stew as well. Yep. Yeah, so we found great things here. This was not our day. No, definitely not our day. Um, so I'm just going slowly down the aisle. You do pick up a few things, but we are really picky. So these are Minnetonkas. Yes, they were in very rough shape and they were, again, like 12 bucks. Yeah, our thrifts tend to upcharge them. And I also think we didn't remember, but we found out the register that this day shoes were 30% off. Mm. So they would have been upcharged because of the sale. Well, that and with the discount, they've already been picked over by everybody, which is the problem. I think that's where we ran into... A bit of a dry spell on the shoes. And still and just like a very just, slow dry spell. I'm going at my own pace, dear. Which is slow. Oh, there's me. Look at me go. <laughs> You're walking by. <laughs> uh, I think those are Steve Vans at the bottom, the Czech leather pattern. Yeah. Uh, I've been told that that style sells really well. Um, I still have a pair listed in my closet. So. Not for me, but we all have different audiences. So, um, yep. you know, maybe check and see if that style sells well for your audience. Going down into another shoe aisle. Because you are a glutton for punishment. Yes, you are going to sit here and watch us fail at shoes <laughs> hard. And if you guys see anything on the screen that you would have picked up that we didn't, let us know. I would love to know what those leopard print things are, but spoilers, guys, you won't find out. Uh, those were Clarks. Okay. <laughs> Smarty. Um, if I remember correctly, really soon you pick up some Sam Edelmans, which were really cute. Yes. They, the problem with them, uh, probably... I think they're the next pair you pick up. Well, they, they're right there. I can see them. Yep. Sam Edelmans. Uh, nice little straps, but the heels were just so trashed. And Sam's honestly don't do that well. I mean, you you can probably sell them for twenty to thirty dollars in good condition, but beyond that, you're not going to get much unless they're like you know boots or something like really great. So well, I'm really picky. And this is me totally paying attention to my camera work. Uh, <laughs> you're probably talking to me because I know I'm on the side there. Yes, I think you were probably talking. Those aren't even worth showing. They were some, not even. The minute you touched them, you're like, oh, nope. They, they were bad. They were like. <laughs> uh, misguided or or some other terrible brand that's awful do you know there are people that sell misguided so let's not judge other people it might have even been missoni or something it was they were i think those might be dansko slippers or sandals well uh that was exciting uh but we're on to dresses and there is something in dresses so don't worry We're, we're not leaving you on a low note bring it back around so uh Instantly, I could tell that this dress was just a nicer quality than everything else. Uh, so I took a look at it. Uh, and it is a brand that we do like to sell. Rag and Bone. A, it is you Rag and say Bone. It. It's coming up in a second. <laughs> He's trying to tease it, but. Uh, Rag and Bone. The problem being is that our store recognized that it was Rag and Bone and wanted $30 for it. And I have been picking up Rag and Bone dresses lately for, you know, a much cheaper price than that. Um, yeah. They don't always sell for a lot, but I do enjoy them. They're really cute and they're really well made. I mean, so. you could probably get 30 to to $100, depending on the style. Like it, Depending. Yeah, I don't so. know if that particular style would do that well, but at $30, there's just no way. This, there's mm-hmm. no margin there. 
But I do see a dress that we picked up coming up. Yes, see, right oh. here. So this is Bowden. Uh, this was the Heritage, Blue Heritage dress. Um, so it was a bit expensive, but it well, already... we had 20% and it was $10. So uh, you actually already sold that dress. Yes, I did. So we will put up a comp on the screen for the things that we have sold from this trip. Yeah, and I will say for Bowdoin, I do um, allow my margins to be a little bit lower than for other brands, um, just because I know that it generally sells pretty quickly, and there's people out there that like collect all the styles. Yes. So you've actually had people come back to your closet for other Bowdoin dresses that you've picked up. Yes, I have. So a uh, whole lot of nothing. Just going <laughs> through the motions. You're just going to have to bear with us. At least we don't see you passing through a bunch of vintage dresses that would sell for good money and then get called out on another channel for it. <laughs> that happened one time. One time. I'm going to link that video up here. Uh, it's Galaxy Finds, and it's a great video, and she really talks about those dresses that he knew nothing about. <laughs> so as Sadie and Sage, that is Savannah Jane. That we had to pause the video to find yes. out what it was. We did a little bit of research because my wife was concerned. Uh, <laughs> coming up is a free people dress which we may or may not have lost in our home we have lost <laughs> it yeah i'm not the one that takes the photos i don't know where so it could have gone i'm very confused by it. this because i've listed everything else but anyway uh, it's a very old free people dress so we'll see how it does because older free people can go either way and a lot of this is just flipping through more garbage that's really not not a good day you're really making this a very exciting video. I'm doing my best. This is an example of an attitude to not have at the thrift store. <laughs> yes, you kind of have to be positive uh, because you kind of realize your attitude during the day. So you, if you have a good attitude, you're going to find more things. Yeah. Manifest the day you want to have. Yes. Uh, so just flipping through more things. Uh, some nice crushed velvet. Yeah, I could live in that. Uh, unfortunately, it was not a good brand. I I'm love assuming because I just left sleeves it. on that dress too. Gorgeous. Whole lot of nothing. That looks uh, like Athleta. It was uh, blurred, but it looked like soft surroundings. I believe actually. Oh well. But okay. We do like soft surroundings. There there, right whole... there is soft surroundings. Right there on the top. There. There is. Um, so I see another free people dress in I there. See, I say mediocre, and then we have an entire cart of things that we have to sort through. So that was the thrift with us. Um, so do we want to address the elephant in the room there, Tyler? Uh, yeah, this might be a my bad for uh, <laughs> like four things making it onto camera. I, I was trying to save the battery, so I turned off the camera a few times and I happened to miss all of the finds. Okay, well, but also, this is the reality of thrifting. So, unfortunately, while he was thrifting, um, he wasn't finding a lot. And then we have to conserve the camera battery, so he would turn it off for a bit. And he would find something. And probably find all of the things and forget to turn the camera back on. But we didn't find a ton this trip, and that that's that's what happens. Um, but there is something he did want to show. Uh, yes, so we did pick up Judy Blue. Um, These are super distressed, really cute jeans. Um, what size are they? Uh, 24W. Okay, so these are adorable. Um, we have stated before, we learned this brand from Via Glow, and it's actually doing quite well for us, so yeah. we are picking it up anytime we see it. Uh, the other thing I did want to show is uh, Miss Me jeans that you picked out, I believe. I did. I picked them out. They were just black Miss Me jeans, and... And we sold them uh, not too long ago, like two or three days ago, yeah. um, for, I think it was $40. Uh, so I'm going to pop that on the screen there. They're angel wing jeans. They're adorable. Um, but yeah, so this was a pretty, you know, average thrift trip. Yeah. So hopefully the next thrift with us is a little bit more exciting. Yeah. And hopefully someday we have a camera. We don't have to worry about conserving hopefully battery. <laughs> someday we will get a GoPro. Uh, yes. Not anytime soon. No, but if you do enjoy thrift with us videos, if you do enjoy seeing what we find, even if it's just a run in the mill type of day, let us know that in the comments below. That really helps us know what to do for our channel. Give the video a thumbs up and make sure that you come back for our next video. Thank you all for watching.